50% in taxes. Was anybody else as upset as I was when they heard that? Okay, so I'm not the only one. Well, here I am trying to figure out why she's paying so much in taxes. And then I'm like, oh, she probably don't have nobody to tell her. Or if she does, her person is not giving her all of the information that she needs to make sure that she's saving all her money. So guess what? I'm here to give that to you just in case you are a performer, an actor, a singer, a dancer, a writer, or a choreographer, whatever you are, if you are a performer and you are in that space and you are trying to save money on your taxes this year and every year, keep on watching because I'm going to give you six different ways to save money on your taxes. Hi guys, and thanks for joining me at the Financial Spotlight. I'm Chantrell, and I'm here to give you financial tips and tricks that are going to help you on your road to know your money. And today, you guys, I am bringing you information on tax deductions for performers. So if you are an actress, if you are an actor, a singer, a songwriter, a dancer, a choreographer, anybody that is in that space and you are going out and using your talents, your, your model. If you're going out and using your talents to help other people and they are paying you for your services and you get paid for that, I'm here to give you six different ways that you can save money on your taxes so that you are not paying all of that money to the IRS like Taraji P. Henson said she is. I'm trying to tell you, I was like, <gasps> when I heard how much she said she's paying in taxes, I couldn't believe it because I don't believe in that. Like if you make millions of dollars, God bless you. However, you don't have to pay that same million in taxes to the IRS. Now there's other things that you can set up to make sure that you are making the most out of your money and that you are leveraging that money. Um, you know, you can get real estate, there's businesses, there's investments that you can make. There's all kinds of things that you can do to make sure that you're so many, so many different things that you can do. So there's definitely no reason for you to be paying, well, if you make $5 million, there's no reason for you to be paying $2.5 million in taxes right off the top. We need to move that money around, put it somewhere, <laughs> figure out some investments, some, some before tax situations or something. Or even if you do have to pay a large amount of money in taxes, at least get your income down lower than that $5 million so that you pay less in your taxes. So let me go ahead and jump into a couple of the ways that you can save on your taxes if you are a performer. The first way is if you're paying agents, lawyer fees, accounting fees, all of those things are tax deductible. Now, your agent could be looked at as a the legal um, or the professional fees. So when you're filing your taxes, there's a certain section on the form that says that you're paying money to um, those types of people. So if that's what you're paying and you're paying that on a regular basis or out of your money, off the top, an interest, I mean, a percentage, then you need to go ahead and write that off on your taxes, please. Also, let's go next to mileage that you are using traveling in vehicles. So if you are driving from set to set, location to location, 
And if they have you coming from your home to, you know, miles away to do a modeling gig, or if you're going to do a dance performance or whatever, that mileage that you drive to that location is tax deductible. Please make sure that you keep very good uh, documentation of it. Make sure that you write down the mileage you, your vehicle was when you started and then the mileage your vehicle was at the end when you're finished with your, your job. Also, write down the date and keep a log of that. I have a mileage tracker. I will put the link to it in the description box, but you can use that to track your miles. Next, we're talking about traveling here. The other side of traveling is that when you're not driving. So if you are in planes, trains, and automobiles, or any type of thing, boats, lodging, um, you know, if you, which is like hotels, motels, um, if you are renting a car, if you are traveling on a plane to a location to do a photo shoot or a show or a scene or anything like that, do backup for someone. If you have to pay for a hotel yourself or if you have to pay for the plane tickets and all that. Now, if they're paying for you for all of this of course, you're not going to be able to write this off on your taxes. But a lot of times when you're first jumping into the scene, I know because I used to be a singer. So when you're first jumping into singing, um, you are not getting necessarily paid for the travel costs. You're just getting paid for the work that you do. So when you first get into it, they're not necessarily paying you for traveling from place to place. So you're that you need to write that off on your taxes. Definitely write that off on your taxes. And then the next thing that you can write off is your wardrobe and your makeup. So if you're buying clothes or you're, you, you know, purchasing clothes or anything like that in, in shoes and all types of things like that in order to do these shoots or to go on these, um, go a part of these, be a part of these shows or whatever. If you were also required to purchase certain, um, different things that you have to use to maybe wrap your body or something like that, you're going to need to write that off on your taxes. And then if you're purchasing makeup to do your makeup, to do your hair, you're doing all these things, definitely take the time and have those receipts and make sure you keep up with all of those expenses so that you can write that off on your taxes as well and re reduce your tax liability. Well, don't fret because I have a free, yes, I said a free tax deduction list plus a guide to guide you through and tell you every single deduction and exactly why and how you write it off on your taxes. Go ahead and download that today. Link is down below in the description box. You'll thank me later. Now, this one is the one that I talk about a lot and it is taking your time and writing off the people that work for you. All right. So if you are a performer, you are a, a makeup, uh, I mean, a songwriter, a singer, a dancer, any of that, you might have a crew of people that assist you. You might have a hairstylist. You might have a makeup artist. You might have a stylist that styles your clothing or an assistant or someone that you pay to drive you. If you have those people or even some people, I'm sure like Taraji, I'm sure she has a chef or a nutritionist or a, a personal trainer or a hairstylist or somebody that does her nails or somebody that does her, um, you know, styles her or whatever have you. If she doesn't, okay. But nine times out of 10, her st at the level she's at, her stature, she has those things. A lot of people that aren't where she is might not have it. However, if you do, 
And even if you pay them occasionally to assist you, then you need to take the time and write that off on your taxes. Now, the way you have to write that off might be different ways. So the person that's working for you, you might have to give them what's called a 1099 NEC for their work because they are not necessarily an employee of yours. However, they are working for you, then that's their business. So they're a contractor. Then you need to go ahead and get that filled out. And whatever you pay them, definitely write that off on your taxes because that is something that you're paying out and you should not be charged taxes on that money that you're paying out to someone else. They should be the one paying taxes on that money. And then last but not least, you can write off your cell phone and your cell phone usage. Now, I know from experience that you're going to get phone calls all the time telling you, okay, be here, be there. You might get a text message. You might read your emails on your phone. All of the things that go on on phones these days is ridiculous, right? You might be posted on social media. You might be marketing yourself. You might be responding to comment, whatever. You're using your phone for your business to conduct business. And therefore, you need to write that off. So you write off your monthly fees that you pay to your cell phone provider. And then you also, if you bought a new phone, you purchased a new phone, write that purchase off on your taxes and the depreciation of that cell phone. So I hope that this information has helped you. If you are a performer, make sure that you are not paying too much money to the IRS. Make sure that you are paying your taxes, but not giving them a tip and definitely not loaning them your money without getting interest for it. Thank you for joining me. I hope that this information has helped you. Go ahead and share it with your friends and family. And if you liked it, go ahead and click the like button so that I can know that this is information that people want and that this is helping you. Thanks for joining me and have a great one. Hey, have you had a chance to join the family yet? If not, go ahead and click the subscribe button and join the family today and also turn on those notifications so that you can know exactly when we're going to post here on the Financial Spotlight channel, all those juicy financial tips and tricks for you. We'd love to have you.